Uh, hello guys and uh, welcome to my new video. Uh, as you saw in that preview, we are going to create uh, this uh, done uh, animation. So I have created uh, this simple icon in Adobe XD. It's pretty easy to uh, create this. Basically uh, all uh, I used is uh, a pen tool. So you just use a pen tool and drag two lines like just I did. Okay, so uh, I'll delete this and I'll export this uh, SVG. Uh, this file to SVG format as you can see and now uh, open up uh, shapeshifter.design and we're going to import uh, this SVG okay so now uh, we are going to change the name to TAN and uh, we're going to change uh, the time uh, the trim path end to 0 from uh, 1 to 0 and now it disappeared from the screen but don't worry now select our path and uh, add the uh, trim path end. So we're going to set two value to one, and the uh, interpolator will set to uh, we'll see now. But before that, uh, change the name of our animation, and we also need to change duration to increase duration from 300 to 500 milliseconds. Okay, now uh, we are going to set end time to 500 milliseconds. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is a slow motion preview, and it works fine, so uh, basically uh, that's it. So we are going to export this to animated vector drawable file, which is an XML file for our Android Studio, and now we are going to drag and drop this uh, XML file to our Android Studio project. So basically in our layout we have one green circle uh, and one button. Uh, when we click button uh, the animation will start so now uh, let's first import this uh, this animation to drawable uh, directory here so just drag and drop it here and click ok now open the file and we're going to change the color from uh, black to white white code uh, is uh, 3fs and uh, we're going to just add this target uh, api attribute here ok uh, in our uh, Gradle build uh, module application, we need to add uh, this line of code, which is uh, vector drawables dot use support library equals to true. This is uh, very important uh, to add when when uh, you are working with uh, vector files. Okay. Uh, next, uh, we're going to uh, okay. In our uh, main activity, I have already added this uh, few lines of code. It's just basically a code which will. Uh, activate the full screen activity in our application you can just copy this code if you want and now we are going to uh, change the ID of our button to button and uh, we can add new image view for our animation we're going to put this image view on the center and select this uh, XML file we just exported from uh, Shapeshifter and uh, create a uh, connect those constraints to our uh, green circle uh, in the background so we can change uh, width and height, uh, and height for our uh, uh, done uh, icon or our animation I think uh, we should uh, set the width and height to uh, 100 dp I think it will serve the purpose okay and here all right so uh, next what we're going to do uh, let me just change the ID of our uh, image view to done so it will be easier for us to uh, to uh, code here so now we're going to uh, type image view and uh, now done uh, we're going to add the button as well and we're going to find the ID of those two elements in our own create method here. So find view by ID, ID done, and for button as well. Okay. Uh, now that we have that, uh, we can create on click listener for our button. So set on click listener, and uh, in brackets new on click listener. All right, so here uh, we can uh, create a drawable object and say uh, done get drawable 
okay and now we're going to create if block so if drawable uh, instance is instance of uh, we need to create uh, animated vector drawable uh, object and uh, animated vector drawable compact object as well so now uh, if drawable is instance of animated vector drawable compact then we're going to execute this code avd dot uh, avd equals to uh, drawable and we're going to pass this animated vector drawable uh, compact here in brackets and uh, we're going to start the animation and in else if block we're going to do the same but for uh, animated vector drawable non compact version so both of uh, the devices and older and uh, older and new devices could uh, execute this uh, animation without problem um, okay i'm just going to type this uh, uh, animated vector drawable this time and uh, we're going to start the animation as well so uh, now we have some error here uh, we just need to add uh, uh, annotation here as you can see you require API annotation above the on click method here okay we don't have any errors now so I guess we could uh, start the application and try it out okay click finish and there we go we have a beautiful and smooth animation uh, we wanted uh, thank you for watching guys uh, please like this video if you find it helpful and of course subscribe to my channel for more great content uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you next video